hey guys what is up it is no help and welcome back to another video today so today we're going to be killing the huey kotal i don't know if anyone knows how to pronounce that properly but uh yeah let's take on the boss so why even kill this boss in the first place because of the unique drops the first one being the hide which you could make a new dragon hide armor with next we have the tome of earth which is uh pretty much like the tome of fire or the tome of water but for earth runes and the brand new dragon hunter wand which is the first mage version that has the draconic effect similar to the lance or the dragon hunter crossbow other than that it will drop a bunch of just alcables some runes some seeds and it also will drop this brand new seed right here which is used to make the new goading potions um, other than that bunch of supply drops soiled pages air orb sharks bones cannonballs limp wart roots a good amount of supply drops and of course it does drop a pet and some hard glue scrolls so this is the gear that the wiki will recommend so kind of uh Take what you have from this. I personally have been using the Dragon Hunter Lance myself. So this is the gear I've been taking. We've got the Nezi Knot Face Guard, the Amulet of Torture, Bandos, the Primordial Boots, Ferocious Gloves, Dragon Hunter Lance, Fire Cape, Rada's Blessing, Dragon Defender, and the Ring of Suffering. So how you actually get to the Huey Kotal boss <laughs> is you want to go over to the Dark Forest area right uh, here. Now pretty much the best way of getting there is using a Quetzal transport to the gorge and then kind of walking around and getting up to the mountain this way. But if you have the Pendant of Eights, you can get there a lot faster. Using the Pendant of Aids, you can just rub it and immediately teleport to the Dark Forest once you've activated the Altar. And it should teleport you fairly close to the fight right here. So I'm basically just going to be running east from the statue. And it will get you pretty close to the boss right here. So right, right here is the Bank Buffalo and the instance for the boss. At the bank buffalo i've been depositing my pendant of eights back in and i will grab out a super combat potion and then i usually bring about five six prayer potions and then i'll fill the rest of my inventory up with some food as you can see there is an, a lot going on during the fight so i'm going to put the entity hider plugin on so that uh you guys can see so basically the fight will start off here and you want to attack some of these uh caves or portals i don't know what people have been calling them they're called the body you just want to attack these and especially if you're in a big group with a bunch of people they will go down pretty fast i also usually summon my thrall just to help out a little bit here and uh once you kind of walk into the room it gets very easy and the fight goes extremely quick in these mass worlds so you want to start off by attacking the boss right here and move out of the way of the blue squares and uh, the blue attack is prey from magic so you're going to want to do that. When the tail comes out you want to be running on a diagonal to avoid all damage. That took me a little while to kind of figure that out because I was taking damage like crazy. The green one you want to prey range, move out of the way of the blue thing again. The tail is very easy to do on these mass worlds and then head back up to the boss it's a very simple fight uh it's a little harder to do solo or in a group of four to five people i was doing it in a group of three today and it was actually quite fun but uh yeah somebody just got a hide and we got a soiled page we're gonna do another example kill because the first one went extremely quick so we're gonna start off by summoning a thrall make sure your dragon hunter lance is on the crush style and attack the body try and do as much damage as you possibly can as i'm saying that i hit nothing kill these off as quick as you can and then you're gonna get ready to head into the room so once you go into the room you just want to head north up to the boss and attack him a lot of people are starting to use magic here to get like the first couple of hits in move out of the way of the blue thing on the floor Attack the boss, put prayer melee on when the red one comes out, and run on a diagonal to avoid the wave. That's prey range. Once the tail's dead, head back up to the boss. 
and just try and do as much damage as you can. And Limpwort Roots. I would say the hardest part of this boss for me to learn was the diagonal running. Other than that, uh, the boss is fairly easy. Very easy to switch your prayers and the different mechanics with the prayers. Just some simple colors and moving out of the way of uh, the lightning that comes on the ground. So the boss itself is fairly easy. You don't really use too much food here at all. Um, even when I was doing like the solos and when I was doing it in groups of two to three players, you hardly ever use food, especially if you're doing all the mechanics properly. And that can be a really good way to learn by either doing it solo or doing it in a group of just a couple of people because then you kind of get the mechanics down more. Uh, just basically simple praying and making sure that you run on a diagonal all the time to avoid the wave damage. That can be huge. And if you're soloing or doing the tail, uh, you it goes to the other side too so you have to keep running back and forth and you get really good at the wave mechanic that way um so you, you won't take a lot of damage in the future but i personally like really enjoy doing it on these mass worlds getting the kc to go up i know it's definitely not as good for getting drops if you want the better chance at drops or the pet you're gonna want to do it in smaller groups or even solo but anyways today we're gonna be doing it for a full hour with uh in the uh the group the mass world will turn into the hider back on so you can actually see that there's a ton of players in here um we'll reset our experience and we will also see how much loot we can get in the hour as well um, and then we'll do a loop from uh, the past couple of days of me doing this boss you guys can get a good sample size of how much loot you can get in 200 plus kills no way I got the hide damn Thank you, everybody. Okay, so we've got about a minute left on the timer, so I'll finish off this last kill. And this guy right here, 5SS, is literally ranked 2. He's got like 3,400, 3,500 KC, and he's saying he didn't have the pet yet. Okay, so the hour is up, and we gained a total of 65,000 experience, uh, 16k attack, 16k defense, 16k strength, and 16k HP, and a little bit of magic. I definitely didn't cast the thrall every kill. And as of loot for the hour, 5 million GP. Now, if we were to minus the hide, because that's pretty lucky, we gained about 340k cash within the hour. So still not terrible considering it's a group boss and you could probably do this at like any level really. Like I've seen some level 90s in there, some level 80s in there. Um, but yeah, about 300 something K cash per hour. And now what you guys have all been waiting for, this is my log for 250 kills, a couple solos and a couple with like groups of four and five, but most of it was done in mass and 250 kills has netted me 7.2 million GP. Obviously the hide is about almost 5 million worth of that but other than that the drops are really good, especially for Iron Man accounts, surprise, surprise. Um, to, uh, we got 10 of the new seeds, which is great for making the new uh, potions, the goading potions, and the prayer renewal ones. Um, also, a ton of just herb seeds in general, like a crazy good amount of things like lantidimes, toad flax, torstals, some great seeds for farming. Cannonballs is always nice. An absolute ton of alcables for just pure cash. Raw sharks, something I need to actually stock up on more of, so that's great. As well as uh, the air orbs are really nice too, because I've got a bunch of the battle staffs in the bank. Limpwort roots, some soiled pages, some runes, and uh, yeah, and that's pretty much about it. So yeah, 7.2 million GP and 250 kills. But overall, definitely a pretty fun and chill boss. Very easy mechanics to learn. You could easily do it like in a group of a couple of people, solo or in the mass world if you're going for fast KC. Yeah, I'll probably be killing this boss for a couple of more days. It'd be nice to get it to about 500 KC, something like that. Maybe get another unique or two. One day I'd like to go back for the 
I guess you need six hides in total. I think the pet would be really cool too. And of course, I'd like the Dragon Hunter wand and even the tome. Honestly, all of the rewards here are pretty cool. So I might casually kill it over time and get all of the uniques from here. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. I will catch you in the next one. See ya later. Thank you.